Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'd like to welcome you to Let's Play Psychonauts. This game came out in 2005, and it's a third-person action platformer that's all about psychic powers and exploring the innermost depths of the human mind. But it's also quite silly and has a weird sense of humor, which is something I thought we could use after playing through Max Payne. Don't get me wrong, I really liked that game, but it's very grim. Now this is happening. <laughs> the other big reason I'm playing this game now is that after 16 years, the sequel finally comes out in less than a month, or so I'm told. So, uh, I figured, what better time to find out why the original was such a cult classic in the first place. Before we begin, I'd like to mention that this is going to be a blind LP. I stepped into the very first area in order to get a reading on the frame rate and audio levels, but other than that, everything we're about to see is going to be new to me. I'm going to play the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Here's hoping we all enjoy ourselves. Now, without further ado, let's play Psychonauts. No, it's not the right one. Yes. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield. And the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers. Paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts! The rest of you will die! <laughs> Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests. Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Bodello. Whoa! Light Monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kit! Get in! Ugh. My name 
starts with a D. Is Rasputin. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once, kind of. But... Now I wear this special hat. Wanna try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. Hmm. Pardon me, just a heartbeat. Sorry about that. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. You have the one above the uh, the crying kid. The one under a kid who uh, does push-ups for fun. Or the one above. Dogen, who seems harmless enough when he's wearing his hat. So let's overwrite the one I used to run around in testing. Yes, please. Ah, uh, BDF. Settle down in here! Big day tomorrow! I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot! I'm the early bird, and you're the worms! Got it? Now, lights out! I don't think that's how that phrase is supposed to work. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? 
Look over that way, if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me, if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a Psy core at the camp store to hold them together. Okay. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. To change your camera preferences, press start to open your journal and select options from the first page. Hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! I love Coach Oleander! He's so nice! And he knows everything! I heard this one time a kid was late for basic braiding and Coach Oleander held him upside down until he turned blue, but the kid had just drank a six-pack of soda, and so when the coach shook him up, he exploded. And then I discovered that you could oh, uh, use, use the, uh, the arrow keys or left stick or the mouse to navigate the journal. I pause this here because they're going to keep running up there. If you talk to them, each of them has a different response to the question, what's the hurry? Hi, what's the rush? Basic braining, I told you. Hi, what's the rush? Don't want to be late. Coach has anger management issues. As I recall, the, the one girl there ha said, uh, uh, because some of us care about our education in the most snooty way, but I don't remember what the weird Muppet looking one said. Well, there were a few conversations around here actually. So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come. On. Oh, no, she's the snooty one. That's right. Hi. What's the rush? Um, some of us care about our education? Hi. What's the rush? Well, you know what they say about slow rolling tumbleweeds. No time for chit chat, James. We're late for class. Hi. What's the rush? I don't want to get a bad seat. Oh, it's the coach's head. Let's see. Uh. That's why. Why is the interact button? Oh. Fine. First collectible I get is going to be over a toilet. Congratulations! You found a loose Psy card. Collect nine of these and you can build a Psy challenge marker out of them. But you'll need to get a Psy core from the camp store and a little help from Ford Crawler. Let's not think about that too hard and maybe wash this card. The fuck? Press Y to pull up whatever that is. Your first arrowhead. Arrowheads are made of Psytanium. A rare psychoreactive mineral, which makes them very valuable. You can use arrowheads to buy items at the camp store and other places you find. Oh, it's currency. And I have to dig them up individually. This isn't going to be a pain in the butt at all. Yes. Uh, while faffing around, I also noted that uh, I seem to have two abilities at the start. One of them is a double jump. I don't know why it looks like Saturn, but I like it. And the other one... Oh, I love that, that even the basic attack is a psychic power. Oh yes, and uh, if you jump and... Uh, I jumped up and tried to smack one of those lights to see if I could break the bulb, and instead he does this. So that should be fun. Also, I just noticed one of these glimmers. I didn't find these in the, uh, the testing. I wonder if I can actually read my name on the sign. I cannot. Uh, 
Dogen. Hello. I'm telling you for the last time, no. Oh no, this kid is crazy. I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh god. Oh. Hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? The liars is all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah. I'll meet you up there. As soon as I get these guys to shut up. All right, I'm going to level with you. I did have that shut talk up. in the uh, in the testing, and they were all facing him. So I don't know why they're not doing that right now. They're all facing away. I don't know if it was a weird coincidence, or maybe it's a bug. Let's I get out of here. Do that. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Oh, God. Wait, he didn't take the hat off! Oh, crap! Maybe I should have thought my uh, bunk through more carefully. I'm gonna go over here. got to be the worst band name I have ever heard in the history of ever, of all time, ever. And by worst, did you possibly mean the best? Because that's what I was thinking. No, I meant worst, as in I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, Phoebe, and I think you'll find that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. The Levitators? Uh, are we some sort of cover band that only plays graduation ceremonies for motivational seminars? I've been practicing, and I think I could levitate us both during our gigs. For real now. <laughs> no way! Last year you dropped me and I broke my drums. Hey, at least those got fixed. I'll never get back those records you melted with that unplanned pyrotechnics display of yours. Look, you know when I have a good solo going, sometimes things get hot. I can't help it. And it seemed like part of the show if we named the band the right thing. Oh, not this again. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, please. Would you please welcome... No. The Firestarters. Oh, man. <sighs> If we're going to call it that, we might as well call it Burning Itch. What? I'm with Phoebe on this one. The Levitators is way worse than the Firestarters. Hey. Oh. The Whispering Rockers. Oh, uh, what? That's my band name idea. Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. I heard it was a bunch of kids, Phoebe. Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. Yeah, because they were late for class. You'd better hurry, kid. Now, where were we, Quentin? Watch it, Quentin. Or what? You'll burn me? You know you can't burn me. You got a block. That's why we're friends. Oh, you're right. That's why we're in a band together. Yeah. And why we should call the band... The Levitators! Did you say heavy taters? Because that's what I heard. Levitators! I guess it's really only just now sinking in exactly what it entails to be going to summer camp with a bunch of psychic ten-year-olds. Oh, God help me. Oh, whoa, what the hell? Oh, neat! There's all kinds of stuff in this game. I haven't gone to the tutorial yet. You know that cabin is empty, right? Duh. I'm practicing for tonight oh, when God. it's gonna be full of ladies. That kind of thing takes practice. Um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies, so I think I know a little bit more about this than you do, okay? Damn! He said that in such a condescending tone that I felt that I took offense to that, and I'm a grown-ass man who certainly knows more about it than he does. Hello. 
I don't know you. You, new boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Positive. Giant, hairless bear? Uh, nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Also more hair. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. Huh. Oh, let's not wander off. I suppose I should... Wait, hey, it's that guy! Nah. The rest of camp is off limits until you have a basic braining merit badge. All right, that's now get there. it. I think. Okay, okay, fine. We'll go do the thing. <laughs> Fire starters. <laughs> I just want to see if I can. Uh... Oh yeah, you can see him very clearly through the hole. Huh. Can I like, nudge that to the side or move that box next to it over? Oh, can't see anything. I mean, there's literally no one in there. Oh. I just wanted to see if I could get the height from there. I guess that's what it's for. Oh, I don't even have to press anything. It just keeps going. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh no, the timer. Okay, what did that say? Try hanging and swinging? Is that what it said? Okay, yeah. All right, it's the Prince of Persia thing. I can do that. Surfaces covered with netting can be climbed in all directions. Noted. Thank you for all this tutorializing. Let's not slide down until we know where that goes, because we have to do an outro, and then we have to uh, report to basic braining, which I guess is up there. It's going to be an interesting summer, you guys. Not bad for the premiere episode, even if it was a bit uh, low in action. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Psychonauts, when we head to basic braining and find out what Coach Oleander wants to do that's so dangerous. Later!